On this show, you'll see guitars from all major manufacturers and small bench luthiers. I've had the pleasure of reviewing over 500 acoustic guitars, and in each review, I play the same songs recorded the same way, so you can compare the sound of any guitar I've ever reviewed. I'm Tony Policastro. Welcome to Acoustic Guitar Heaven. Hey there, Tony Policastro here from Acoustic Life TV. Today, I have a special treat for you. I have a close carbon fiber travel guitar. Now, I want to first say this, I am a very kind of, I'm, I'm new to the close family. Um, I had never heard of these guitars before until Adam, one of the brothers that owns the company, reached out. Adam and Ian are the brothers that own the company and uh, he said, I'd love for you to review one of our guitars. I said, well, I'd absolutely love to as well. So he sent it this way. I had a chance to mess around with it. And I got to be honest, when I think of guitar, the first thought in my mind is not carbon fiber. But I will say this, it being on a travel guitar, this guitar was incredibly well thought out. I had a chance to speak with Ian on the phone um, just to get the kind of the story about this guitar. Like, why did you decide to make a travel guitar? Why carbon fiber? Um, why did you choose some of the appointments and the features that you did? Which was a great conversation. And really, I want to tell the story of this guitar first, and then we'll get into some of the nitty gritty with the specs. But, uh, so the guitar itself, the body is carbon fiber. The neck is detachable, and it's almost uh, this marriage of acoustic guitar technology as well as electric guitar, electric guitar technology. And what I think is really interesting is that this came from Ian's personal experience. Uh, they have family all over the place, and uh, Ian's a guitar player, he travels a lot, so he thought, God, it'd be great to have a travel guitar that I could bring along with me, not worried about it, not worry about it getting hurt. Uh, so he kind of started prototyping these these guitars, and, and carbon fiber was a logical choice because, well, you don't have to worry about it too much. In fact, in some of their videos, they've got, they're using it as a canoe paddle, kind of all the stereotypes of carbon fiber. They're using it for golf, uh, baseball, there's a kid sitting on it. But I think the beauty of it is, is that you can take this guitar anywhere and not worry about it. Uh, you can have other people play it, you can play it, you can play it outside. Humidity is not an issue because of the carbon fiber body. So what we have on a close uh, carbon fiber travel guitar is this, a carbon fiber top. Now this is kind of a, the top is a special thing on this guitar, it's, it's a carbon fiber sandwich. Uh, it's a very thin layer of carbon fiber with a foam core and then a very thin layer of carbon fiber. And because the top is the major tonal producing uh, surface on the guitar, it was really crucial that, Ian, Ian was telling me this, it was really crucial that he did this because it acts like wood. Is it wood? No, it's not wood, but it acts like wood in terms of hard grain lines and then soft grain. So it's kind of an interesting concept on the top. The back and sides are also a single piece of carbon fiber. And it's interesting because the weave pattern on the back is different than the top. And I asked Ian, I said, what's the deal with this? And he said, because carbon fiber is essentially a cloth, there's an issue of drapeability around the sides and the curves. So the back is a different gauge cloth, I don't know if that's the right terminology, than the top. So I, I was learning a little bit about carbon fiber as I was talking to Ian and I thought, this is interesting because I've played carbon fiber guitars before and I've always noticed that the weave or the pieces uh, seem to be very rough. They don't seem to match. And I looked, the, one of the first things I saw when I opened the box on this guitar was that the carbon fiber was beautifully laid out. Um, and once Ian told me that, it all made sense. You know, a lot of care was taken in designing the back and top. So I was pretty stoked to learn that and also share that information with you because I, I really didn't know much about carbon fiber construction. Uh, the top is braced with just two tone bars, uh, one uh, kind of running from the neck all the way down uh, to, the, uh, to the bridge here. And it's interesting because carbon fiber doesn't need a lot of reinforcement. It's a very stiff material, but the top being the major load-bearing uh, surface, of course, it needs a little bit of bracing. Uh, we have a rosewood bridge, kind of a standard size bridge, featured a little bit uh, uh, down lower on the lower bout, and that's because this guitar is a full scale length. It's 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, so similar to the scale length of a J45 or other kind of shorter scale full size instruments. And again, that scale length is from the nut to the saddle. Uh, both the nut and saddle are made out of bone. Uh, 
This guitar has a neck block in it, and actually the neck is detachable. It's a mahogany neck with kind of a full C profile. Uh, rosewood fingerboard with jumbo frets. We have an inch and 11 sixteenths bone nut, as I mentioned before. A zero degree headstock, which is really interesting. And I think uh, one of the, this is one of those small details I thought that was really um, well thought out. Because you're traveling, you don't really want a pitched headstock because that can cause a breakage point. Since this doesn't have any, any angle to it, it's very, very solid and very strong. Uh, the neck is reinforced with a truss rod. We have mini closed gear tuners on the back. Um, this guitar really is set to go. It comes with a strap. Strap pins are installed. As I mentioned, the neck is removable. Um, this guitar, although it is a travel guitar, really, it's it's a guitar that I think, even though I think I think travel guitars sometimes you get them and you're still scared to take them places. Uh, this guitar is not that at all. It's a small guitar. Does it sound like a full size guitar? No, I'll, it absolutely doesn't. It sounds like a smaller guitar, but. It's that trade-off of, gosh, do I bring my full-size guitar and worry about it? Or do I bring something smaller that's extremely durable that I don't have to worry about? So all that being said, there's, this guitar has such cool stories and features I could go on forever, but I want you to hear it and I want you to evaluate it for yourself. So all that being said, let's play the close carbon fiber travel guitar so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> If you like that review, you're gonna love the reviews I have coming up next. I'm doing reviews like crazy. I mean, look at all these guitars. It's insane, I'm in guitar heaven. And I want you to be in guitar heaven too, so make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And speaking of being in guitar heaven, if you happen to be out there shopping for an acoustic guitar, you're gonna need my acoustic guitar buyer's guide. It goes through all the different body sizes, tone woods, things to consider when you're looking for the right acoustic guitar for you. So make sure to grab that by clicking in the link below or here in the video. Thanks a lot.